Good morning, Modern Stedders. It's Friday, and Friday is Modern Stedder Update. And there's Mr. Figaro keeping an eye on his chicks. Good morning, Mr. Figaro. Excuse me, sir, we need to get in there. After I shot the video the other day about how we raise our chicks, I'll put a link to that video right here, but it got me thinking that these chicks are growing and doing awesome. And I was thinking, I don't think our chicks normally grow this fast and feather out as quick as they have been. And I am thinking it has to do with them having a good amount of feed in front of them all the time and water. Normally, in the years past, we use a waterer like this and a feeder like this, and we'll put a couple of them in there. But what ends up happening all the time to us is that water gets either drank really fast, or they plug it up with shavings, and they can't drink out of it. And then with the feeder, they go through it really fast, and they're not always having the feed in front of them. So when I come home from work, they're usually out of water and out of feed, and I'll fill it up. And when you look throughout the day, it's the same thing. But with this setup, they haven't ran out of food or water. I'm really happy with that, and they're growing amazing. So I'm really looking forward to that when it comes to our meat birds. It'll be interesting to see if we get more meat off of them, or if we get more meat on them quicker. And that's a good thing. These guys are ready to go outside. I got a few ideas I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna give them probably about another week in the house. And then I got an idea and we're gonna ship them outside. We transplanted the celery the other day. They're doing pretty good. I can't complain. It's only been a few days and they're starting to take off nicely. Our peppers are doing good. Boy, those are so green. Wow, look at that. I am excited. The tomatoes, nah, they're doing okay. This is the subarctic plenty tomatoes that we grew. These are doing amazing. Look at that. And these were started the same time as the subarctic plenties. I don't know if it's the plant or if it's the grow light. And these are the pink Berkeley tie-dye. Over here, I know I need to raise my light up, but I'm trying to let the little ones grow up a little bit more before I raise that light. Here we have the gold medal. And these are doing good, but not as good as the pink ladies. Those are just doing Oh, I can't get over how well the pink ladies are doing. Look how thick those are. Man, and all of these plants, except for the celery, were all started at the same time. It's just amazing. I'm going to be able to use my large soil block maker. Let me go grab that. I'm excited. Made that this winter. I'll put a link to that video right here. But I haven't had a chance yet to use it. But this right here is going to make one large block and then the center is a plug for the that medium sized soil block to fit in. So we're going to use that on the tomatoes. Yes. I'm not trying to be like, oh squirrel. But while I'm back here I need to grab my drywall screw gun for work. First I got to find it. Drywall. Right there. All right, a little dusty, but we got it. Crazy story with this is, somebody threw this away at the dump one day. I mean, now I got a nice drywall gun. Put it on our lunch box. All right. Basciuto. And copa is still looking good. I gotta work on my weaving skills. And this pasture to plate whole hog harvesting class 
I'm hoping to learn more of that skill. I can open up my vents better. It's not as cold today as it was yesterday. And we have 37 for a temp. Nice! We are keeping our maple syrup down here. Oh man, that looks so good. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. These two are the... Wow, look at the different colors. That's just crazy. All four jars are different colors. That's pretty awesome. I think Pluto knows when we're doing the modern stutter updates. Every time we go to shoot one, when Gina leaves for work, she comes all right up to me and is like, what are we doing now? When are we going out? When are we going out? I can't wait. I can't wait. Huh. You know. It's silly. Pluto knows it's time to go out and take care of the animals, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You know. You ready to go out, Pluto? Do you want to go out? Well, the chickens ate the whole cabbage yesterday at some point. They didn't want to eat it in the morning, but... When did you eat it, Mr. Biggs? Huh? When did you eat the cabbage? We'll bring the pigs their bucket of food scraps. Oh, I bet you they love that. Good morning, girls. I guess I gave them their dessert first. Yeah, they still want the grain. Tell you what though, I'm looking forward to it defrosting in here and being able to come in here with my tractor and scoop off all the manure and hay in here and just make an awesome compost pile.
I got so much hay and manure and food waste in here. Man, this is gonna turn into an awesome compost pile and do an amazing job at helping us grow the garden this year. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if you noticed or not, but the pigs yesterday were pretty darn hard on the top on their housing. Man, is that good? Yesterday's temperatures got a little over 30 for the day. It was pretty sunny though. We melted quite a bit of snow because of the sun. So I am curious to see if the sap ran yesterday. Sorry, I was trying to avoid a stick from poking me in the eye. That's why I made that weird face. I was embracing for impact. Man, I'm sorry, that's just beautiful. Yeah, a little bit. Not much, today's supposed to be about 38 to 40 degrees. So maybe the sap will start running today. Have to check tomorrow and hopefully this weekend we'll be making some maple syrup. <sighs> that would be delicious. I'm hoping to get two gallons this year. We've already gotten a gallon. And we've used at least a quart, if not half of a gallon of that syrup already. So it'd be nice to have two gallons of syrup in the refrigerator or cave I should say before the season's over so it'd be nice to have two gallons on hand I guess is what I'm trying to say so that'd be nice come on Pluto you're falling through the snow Thanks for coming along on our crazy cold journey with us this morning. If you like today's video, now is a perfect time to subscribe to the channel. And while you're down there, turn on notifications. Hopefully YouTube will let you know when we post a video. If not, remember, we post a video daily at 6 a.m. So we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. A guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.